Now, the famous apophyllites from the, the Pune mines in India uh, usually have uh, apophyllite crystals which have a um, this form, as you see here, but that have a termination on both ends. Whereas these from the Channing 2 mine, in this case, from the Kalahari manganese fields, don't have that. Lovely uh, gem see-through, uh, or partly see-through. There's something in this one, there's something growing inside that crystal. Maybe some calcite, or you'd have a look under magnification later on. Lovely lustrous piece, um, white, pretty much snow white, the, the apophyllite crystals, as you can see there. Or hydroxy apophyllite in this case. And they have little striations on the edges as well. If you look over there, it's, it's on the white material, it's very difficult to, to, to get an accurate indication. From a color point of view, um, let's see if we can get a pretty accurate color here. That's too dark. To see if I zoom in. That's pretty accurate. Lovely luster specimen. All from the uh, Channing 2 mine, Kalahari manganese fields in South Africa. That's in the Northern Cape um, region of South Africa. Let's see if we zoom. What fascinates me about this one, of course, is are those little inclusions inside that apophyllite crystal. Let's see if we can if we can have a closer zoom there. The camera doesn't want to zoom that close. There's something included in those.